Hi everyone, and this is Chrissy from Instars by Chrissy.com, and this is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. And this month, I am doing things a bit differently, wherein I am just, you know, really focusing on the energies that is surrounding us for the month for each and every sign and for you guys for aries of course again this reading is for those that are in the sign of aries sun moon and rising sign all at the same time so again i'm using my lenormand tree cards of tarot and then my cardamancy along with my astrodices so that we we just focus on what is the energy all about and what are the major influences that can really occur for us so we know how to navigate our month as a whole so um yeah again this is in terms of your emotional life your love life as a whole now <coughs> now taking a look on this we do have the moon card the page of pentacles and the knight of cups so clearly we are seeing this in a in a very um progressive manner wherein it, it can mean that you know the beginning of the month might be quite turbulent you know it could be quite emotional for some of you especially in terms of communication so there could be a chance of communication mishaps or a chance of arguments to occur or maybe you know a lot of repress feelings coming out you know there is a form of aggressive and passive tendencies when it comes to your emotional life because we are dealing with the moon here not only this but we do have you know quite a bit of a difficult energy here we do have the fox and the and the whip all together with this bouquet so this clearly means that maybe there is some form of news that is coming up or might come within the month that you know um there is some form of friction in there it can be that um you know maybe a particular man it could be a man or a woman but for this thing we are seeing that there is a man over here that maybe you know some form of secrets are are within that something is sketchy around them especially if they are surrounded by the fox by the rat card and the book so you know some form of sketchy things going on that might be um giving cloudiness with how we think with with how we communicate as a whole so there is some form of energy right there and also with the alignment of the cardamancy we do have a lot of spades right there we do have the six of spades and the nine of spades so this is clearly all you know coming together i usually call this like us uh, very similar to how i do my recast method um recast method breathing wherein you know i use a bunch of different decks and asking the same question and then you know usually it will give you a very similar answer to each and everything and that is how you actually see the probability of that manifesting into reality and of course this is not going to be happening for each and every aries out there but this might be you know something that is definitely going to occur to some aries people especially those that are tuning into my reading so that is really how it goes and again we do have you know a news coming in but since we do have the knight of cups as the last card of the reading this can actually tell us that there could be you know some form of relief or it could be um, a moment there wherein there is some form of news but the good news is not right there in front of you just yet so it's like you know you're not actually getting the whole picture of the story you're not actually receiving the news just yet because you know it's on its way to you it doesn't mean that it's already in front of you so there is a very similar energy um surrounding this and that is exactly what is you know uh, this whole month is all about 
you know, there is an energy we're in, there could be impatience to people. And we will feel this with how we communicate and engage with people because we do want to get something done. And if you are going to be acting on a very hasty level, because we do have a lot of, you know, hasty cards here, we do have the rat, you know, very quick and fast. It could be someone in your field, it could be you, you know, who is very, you know, um, not thinking clearly, they are quick and fast, they're not expressing everything that they truly feel, yet they are, you know, wanting to have something in a, in a very, um, in a very, I would say, sexual way. This is a card where, it, you know, someone wants to have it all but not exactly making a commitment and that eventually leads to some form of problems into a relationship that is a possibility now this can also manifest wherein it could be that you know you you hear from an old friend and then this friend has a lot of secrets with them and you slowly find them out and have some form of friction to whatever secrets are leaking out you are going to find out something and that something can be very problematic can be very aggressive wherein you need to sort things out this can also be a situation wherein there is a certain situation that might be manifesting and you are very quick to make a decision and that eventually leads to some form of problems you know that you need to you really need to have some form of time to sort things out we do have the dog the book and the moon all together at the end of this reading really telling us that you know you will learn something from someone and you know it doesn't tell us what exactly is that but this is like a really nice time to if you have a different opinion from from a friend or with your own partner you know you guys don't have to always be the same you guys can argue you guys can you know have some form of healthy debate this is what i want this is what you want but the most important thing here is that you actually tell the person clearly and not make decisions that doesn't make sense like you know you are feeling something and then you're telling the person one part of the story and not telling them why you are why you are deriving on that story you know why you are deriving on that decision so we, we can actually say that this breathing is a little bit on the selfish side at least there is someone that is selfish that is doing things by themselves and not really considering what the other person will feel what the other person really thinks so there is some form of selfish selfishness in this reading so if you are dealing with someone like that, you need to be very careful and not just agree to whatever that they truly want with you. You need to be more careful with how you give trust to people because maybe they're not showing you um, their true colors or they're not showing you um, that they can be with you for the long haul so there could be some form of tendencies like that but i if i had to say something for myself i think that this is a situation wherein there will be conversations that are unavoidable to happen and they are definitely going to occur and it's not going to be a very happen happening in a very smooth way in fact um I would say that this is a situation wherein there is definitely some form of conversations that needs to be sorted out some form of things that we you know we need to break down what is really happening here there is some form of energy relating to this wherein you guys really need to talk things out to, and to make things clear on what you guys really want so there is that form of energy I did pick out you know some oracle card for this and we got here to talk about your feelings and it's okay to be different and i feel that this is really telling on 
what you guys really need to know for you guys Aries people out there this can be a time we're in maybe you are definitely going to be expressing your own feelings and it could be different from the other person's point of view and you guys don't have to be always the same you guys don't always have to agree into something but the most important here is that you you guys lay down the foundation to actually check things carefully and to talk about the loose ends to why things has happened in this way what has occurred what did i do what did you do you know let's try to solve the problem you know and not create more problem problems as a result so in our dice, we also have here mars in the sign of cancer in the fifth house so this is definitely activating the love area of your <laughs> of your um of your life it could be with a love affair with a lover or with a child you know um resolving problems could be the key for you for the month of july it doesn't mean that you will solve the problems here and now it could be that you are going to find out what those problems are and you know slowly f find your way work around your way to how to you know achieve some form of harmony into whatever you find out i do believe that you know this is a time we're in there could be some form of movement in terms of your personal life and in terms of your relationships or partnerships whether you're single in a relationship in a complicated relationship or in a marriage there is a movement a moving forward movement that is really happening in the skies you know you are you know you're not in a very stagnant place you are in a very interactive and engaging place wherein you are going to be finding out something maybe fighting for something and you know there is some form of ag aggression in this area and it's very ironic because we also have mars in the sign of aries so this is really triggering your part something part of your life wherein you are being triggered to take action to do something whether that leads to something or not um it's going to be a different story of course but there is a first step a few steps forward that is going to be manifesting for you as a whole something is going to be moving forward something is going to be revealed and find out you know maybe it's a missing piece it could be again you know fighting and arguing it's not really um it's something unavoidable that can occur for you but you are going to find answers to whatever that you seek and you want through that there is going to be some form of clarity so um yeah this is it for my reading for you guys aries for the month of july and i don't know how you guys are gonna see this type of reading but um yeah i try to make it concise as possible so you guys can you know don't have to watch very long videos um so um yeah again if you do want to have a personal reading with me you can do that by booking a session through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month bye